Now I'm running this because um, people have an issue, having issues logging into MassWatch, or they're not aware of everything that is on offer through MassWatch. So they, you might be able to do what your teacher sets you, but you might not be aware that you can find resources for yourselves. Now, firstly, the login details are here. Now, um, your login might be your initial and your last name in capitals at FCC in lowercase, or first initial, last name in lowercase, and then at FCC. Okay, if you joined after a certain time, it will be lowercase before a certain time uppercase. That was Matt's watch that, um, that did that. I'm not sure what happened, but it's a, it's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. I think we can deal with that. Um, the password was originally set to password. This may have been changed over the over the years. Okay, so it might have been reset to FCC123 or it might have been reset to your username. If you can't log in, then please let Mrs. Cooper know and she can she can try and rectify that during this meeting. Or if not, send your maths teacher an email and they will they will or an edgy link message and they will sort it out for you. Okay. A reminder there, if you want to use the chat function in this meeting, you can do. So I'm now going to share my screen with you and you should see now the what you get when you try to log in to MathWatch. So you go onto the website and you go into MathWatch and you get that box there to sign in. So I've created a fictitious student called initial last name. So it's I last name at FCC and his password is the same. This student's in my year nine group or I've assigned him to my year nine group. So you can see there the work that I have assigned him. It's an inequalities task. I'll come back to that in a second. Your screen might look very slightly different to this screen. You can see here I've got the icons, my work, videos, progress and extras. Yours, if you are on a tablet, you might not see those. Instead, you will have a little icon up here with three lines in it. If you click that, you get the same options that I had at the top of my screen. I'm just gonna make that bigger again now. This is the screen you will see typically if you are on a laptop or desktop. Now, if this student wanted to have a go at the task that I set them, they simply click on the task. You'll see it's a task on inequalities, which I've just been doing with my year nines, and I can select the questions. Now, one or two people were having issues with entering into here okay you if you don't know how to enter a symbol can you see if you can see the little plus there that gives me all of the symbols now one of my students actually did this you'll see when i submit my answer it is between minus four and five it does not include minus four but it does include five because that means less than or equal to five but whoops i've got that wrong now that's because i've not read the question really carefully. So on the number line it says n, so I needed to use n instead of x. And when you submit an answer and it is right, you might have heard that nice little ping there and it goes green. Okay. Also on that, while I'm doing this task, I've got a video that might help down here and there may be some sort of overview here. I'm going to come back to those and how you can find the videos for yourselves in a second. So I'm going to go back to my work and that will take me to the original screen when I signed in. Okay, if this student wants to find their own video or set themselves questions, if I've set questions in another format and they want to do more practice, they can click on videos. That will give them the option to, to search all of MathsWatch for videos. So here I've selected GCSE, I've selected algebra and I've started typing inequalities. If I select inequalities on a number line, the student will now see the, some of the questions that I set them if I click on interactive questions. You can do those for fun. If you're doing those as extra work and you want to screenshot what you have done and send it to your teachers, that will be great. We can give you some achievement points. What you can also see here is you can again see the video you can see the search bar and you can see clips that are related to it. For example, solving linear inequalities is, is a related topic. So that appears down there. 
let's just go back to the home screen. Again, I'm going to go back into videos. Now, if I again go to inequalities, if I press play, I have got a just under five minute video. I'm just going to click that and listen to the clip for a few seconds. I want to represent this inequality on this number line. I can see that M is in between minus two and five. So I draw a little circle at minus two and a little circle at five. N can be anything in between minus two and five. So I join the two circles together with a line. To show that N can be anything in between the minus two and the five on the number line. Now we have to look at these symbols. This one tells me that N is strictly greater than minus two. So I leave this circle uncolored. But this one tells me that N is less than or equal to five. To show this, I color in the circle. Okay, so I've, pr I've pressed pause there because I don't think you need to watch the whole video. You can go and search for that for yourselves. Um, what you will also notice is a one minute maths video. Now this one, if is for if you are fairly confident on a topic but you just want to check it so you can just click on that and it will sum everything up in a minute and the pace will be much much quicker okay the other thing that you might notice up here is worksheet if you would like to do more practice and you would rather print it off and work on a worksheet you can click that and in a new window it's generated a short worksheet for me so we can do that on paper okay i'm just going to go back now to this and in here you can also select key stage three or AS level. If you select key stage three you're going to get very very similar resources or similar topics to in GCSE. So it gives us twice as many resources. It won't contain the one minute maths version of the video but it will contain everything else. So for example if I wanted to look for fractions I can search in key stage three. I can go to number. And if I start typing fractions in here, I get all of these options. I can then look at how to shade fractions. If I click that, again, you get the video, or you will get the video. You've got the interactive questions and you've got the related topics. Okay, so if I wanted to click that, I can then watch a video on fractions. I think that just about sums up everything that I would like to make you aware of at this point. Um, if you do have any instant queries, do let Mrs. Cooper know on the chat, please. You can message your child's maths teacher via EduLink or by email. Okay, well, in a short while I, I will stop talking and I will invite questions from any of you guys. Thank you so much for coming along and into this meeting. I really hope it's useful. Do please make sure you stay well, stay safe, and it's really good to see so many faces. So thanks all.